Hi, I'm Trent with Metageek, and I'd like to tell you about our free software tool called Insider and how it can help you. Insider is a Wi-Fi scanner used by millions of people around the world to help them see what's happening with Wi-Fi. Insider is especially useful when you are working on optimizing your wireless network. Insider uses the Wi-Fi card or adapter in your computer to scan for wireless access points and captures information about each network it detects. The software then turns all of this data into an easy to understand visualization of your Wi-Fi landscape. In Insider, the top pane is called the Networks Table. This is a running list of all the wireless networks and their details like MAC address, SSID, or the name given to that access point, RSSI, which is the signal strength, channel, type of security being used, maximum data rate, network type, and when the access point was first and last seen by Insider. If you are using GPS with Insider, it will show the latitude and longitude of where you were when the access point was spotted. Insider provides a real-time reading for the signal strength of each Wi-Fi network it can see, showing the signal strength and channel the network is using in the lower panel. By default, every wireless network is selected, but in some cases, this will be too many to track. You can deselect all of them by clicking the checkbox in the top left, and then select just the networks you are interested in. I recommend using the built-in filters to quickly find the networks you'd like to track. If you know the name of your network, type it into the field called SSID or Vendor. Insider will then only list the networks that fit your filter requirements. Using the filters, we found the list of wireless networks we're interested in. Now let's click the time graph in the middle of the screen. This view shows the signal strength of each selected wireless network. You can click on an individual row in the table to bold a line for easy identification of a particular network. The performance of wireless networks degrades significantly as the signal level, or RSSI, goes down. As an example, Cisco recommends adding another wireless access point when your received signal strength falls below negative 75 dBm. Now let's go to the 2.4 GHz channels to see how wireless networks can overlap in the spectrum. In Insider, the channels view is designed to show you where there may be potential Wi-Fi channel overlap, which causes interference. Each Wi-Fi channel overlaps with four neighboring channels. This is why Wi-Fi professionals recommend only using channels 1, 6, and 11, because there is no overlap between them. You can use Insider to place your wireless network on the least congested channel. I typically recommend looking at channels 1, 6, and 11, picking the one where the maximum RSSI of all the networks is the lowest. If the maximum RSSI levels are all about the same for each of those channels, pick the one with the fewest networks. Even with all of this available data, Insider can not show the full range of potential wireless interference. To best troubleshoot Wi-Fi issues, I recommend looking into a USB spectrum analyzer, like WiSpy. It can show you if a cordless phone, microwave oven, wireless audio device, or anything else generating a signal in the wireless spectrum is impacting the channel. Thank you for watching. Click the subscribe button to learn more about wireless networks and visit our website at www.metageek.net.